In this tutorial, I'll walk us through the first problem on the Problem Solving Session 2 worksheet. And we're trying to investigate the proportion of Americans that are native English speakers, as determined by the Head of Household Survey uh, conducted by the United States Census Bureau. And that survey name is the American Community Survey. And what we're going to want to do is use StatKey in order to compute bootstrap confidence intervals. So if you open up StatKey, which I have here in Google Chrome, of course you can visit the website as well, and you click on CI for a single proportion and try to edit the data, what you're going to notice is that you need the count and sample size right away. So we don't have that yet. If you, open, if you get the data from... Uh, Moodle, you'll see that we have the actual raw data values here, and we want to get to a summary statistics in order to impute it, uh, input it into StatKey. So we need a different option in StatKey. To go back, you can click on the StatKey rectangle. And right now we have one quanti uh, categorical variable, and we want to edit the data. Of course, it's going to think that we have summary data to start, so we can click raw data to enter in the actual rows that we have. So let's delete out that default data there and go back to Excel and copy this column. So I'm going to use uh, Command-C on a Mac or Control-C on Windows to have that column copied, and then I will paste it into StatKey. If we click OK, then you'll see that we have 806 English speakers out of 1,000. So now we can go back to the confidence interval for a single proportion, edit our data. We have 806 native English speakers out of 1,000 in our original sample. If we click OK, you'll see that updated uh, in the area called original sample. Now to calculate one bootstrap sample you could click generate one sample and you'll see the new bootstrap sample so now you have 809 English speakers of course we're sampling with replacement so it's some of these in original 806 individuals out of the new bootstrap sample size of a thousand so we get a new proportion which is reflected here and you can see that if we keep repeating this you get different bootstrap samples at each time based on different resamples from the original sample. And of course we can create a faster way to do this or utilize a faster way by just generating a thousand samples at a time. So now we have 311 samples and we can go through and calculate a bootstrap confidence interval. If you're looking to do the use the plug-in principle all you need is the standard deviation of this bootstrap distribution and then you can use the plug-in formula. Alternatively, if you're looking to create a two-sided uh, percentile based bootstrap confidence interval, you click the two-tailed option here and then change your central value based on what you want. We want a 95 percent confidence interval here which it takes on by default, but you could change this value to say 0.99 just by simply clicking on that, entering in a proportion. So 0.99, we can update the confidence interval very quickly. Now let's go back to 0.95. And what you'll see is that while well, the proportion that you've obtained from the percentile approach and the plug-in approach should be very similar. 